Hi there Bay fans, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. It is again Throwback Thursday. I know I say every week but these do come round really quickly, don't we? Um Throwback Thursday, I look back at the videos I've done, I look back at the videos that I, I've done and reviewed beers over two years ago, and I bring one about retirement. I see what the beer is like now, has it changed, has the ABV changed, have my taste buds changed? Do I still like the beer as much as I did over two years ago? Time to find out. <laughs> The beer tonight is this one. This is uh, Fuller's London Pride, coming at four point seven percent ABV. Um, it was four point seven when I tried it over two years ago, so it's not changed one little bit. Uh, I tried it from the bottle as well two years ago, so that's going to be the same as well. Let's get into a glass. This is one of those beers, isn't it? That, um, even if you don't drink beers, everybody knows it. And kind of knows maybe a little bit about it. Maybe that it is a beer that's from London. But it's quite rich in ways. Uh, Finally, all while it's not all gone into the glass. So that has poured a clear dark amber colour. With a very small white head, or just off white head actually. Looks like some good carbonation in there. It looks good. Let's have a little sniff, shall we? Oh, it's got that traditional. Every time I come back to a beer like this, it's just got a really traditional beery aroma. Yeah, do you know what? You can smell the caramel in there. Get some wafts of fruit. Quite floral as well. Spicy note in there. Smells good. Right, let's taste it. Cheers, everybody. Head, shall we? Yeah, flavour wise, it's just okay, spilling beer. Um, flavour wise, it's just really lovely. Um, follows no some degree. Um, it tastes dark and rich. I think I've heard it described before as a little bit like a Belgian Belgian ale, and it is. It's got that sort of richness and robustness to it, um, but a really flavoursome beer for a beer that, in the mouth anyway, is quite quite a light beer. I've got caramel in there. A little bit of fruit is coming through. It's a little bit like a. Um, is it a bit, a bit like a stewed apple? At times, at times it comes through feeling a little bit like um, like an overripe banana. There is a floral flavour to it. It's got that herbal floralness to it as well, and a lovely spiciness at the back of, at the back of it. It's a decent beer, decent beer. It's got a nice long bitterness to it, which is really good. It's tasty. Um, I, I always expect a little bit more richness to it, a little bit more decadence to it. Decadence, good word. A little bit more decadence to uh, London's Pride. I'm always surprised. I used to drink a lot of this. I haven't probably touched this in two years since I last did the review, if I'm being honest. 
Um, but prior to that, I used to drink a lot of it. I think I, I was always surprised. I always think it must be, it's going to be dark, a little bit like a, a Green King um, beer. So I'm always a little bit surprised by the lightness, the lightness in colour and lightness uh, in mouthfeel as well. But it does taste quite rich. It's got, like I said, it's got a nice lingering long bitterness to it, which is really nice. Um, it's quaffable. It's satisfying. It's easily an eight out of ten, eight and a half out of ten beer. That's eight and a half out of ten for men's beer reviews. Uh, thanks for watching. What do you guys think about uh, London Pride? Do you like it? Uh, on cask, uh, for someone's going to mention it out there. On cask, this this will be better. Um, but yeah, it's for a for a beer out of the bottle. It's really really nice. Let me know in the comments below anyway what you guys think about it. Thanks for joining today. I really do appreciate it. Really do appreciate it. Honestly, I do. Uh, until next time, enjoy beers. Cheers.